Well, hello, YouTube. I'm Steve Patton with General Patton Bushcraft. Back with you, friends. I'm back in the backyard now, and I'm getting ready to make some homemade charcoal, some briquettes. We don't want to buy those Kingsford briquettes or those Royal Oak briquettes from the Walmart. We're going to make our own at home. Stay tuned. All right, friends, what I have here is this galvanized bucket and lid. Barron's, this is a Barron's metalware established in 1911, friends. I like this, these Barron's galvanized steel uh, garbage cans. What I got are some uh, pieces of a stump. I cut out, an, I took down a tree, cut out an old stump, and these are the pieces that I broke out of the stump, and we're gonna make these into briquettes. So all you do, I'm gonna load these in here. Even this piece of root will be good. Some are bigger, some are smaller, that's okay, friends. Get this piece here. Load this up. Put the lid on. Just like that, friends. And let's get a fire going in the old outdoor fireplace. Get this metal grate in the center. Fireplace, I've got some pine needles in here already. I'm gonna stick this on here like that, friends. Keep the handle out here so I can grab it later. Let's get some more needles and some firewood and pile it around there. couple pieces of fat wood. All right, friends, I got this piece of fat wood here. Boy, I wish you guys could smell this. Look at that liquid gold, friends. All right. Let's place these around here. Another big chunk. Let's put another chunk in the back, back there. Some of these guys in the front. Oh, we that smells good. All right, friends, let's get the barrel rod. It's a Royal Oak tumbleweed fire starter. Let's see if we can get this tumbleweed lit. Tumbleweed lit up pretty good. Get this fat wood in there. All right, friends, all we do now is let all that wood burn up. And then I'll bring you back and we'll see what the charcoal looks like inside. Notice I didn't drill any holes in the lid. We'll see if that lid can stay on or if the combustion blows it off. Stay tuned for the finished product. All 
right, friends, all that wood just about burned up. About ready to pull that Baron's galvanized steel bucket out of there. And let's take a look at the charcoal, the charcoal briquettes. Okay, we're gonna just pop this top. Good charcoal, friends. We'll let it sit there and bake a little more. Put the lid back on it. Nice lump charcoal, friend. All right. This has been a DIY on how to make your own lump coal, friends, at home, in your own backyard. It's easy. Hey, before you leave the channel, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up if you do subscribe bang the bell icon and in the drop down menu do select all friends leave me a comment let me know when you start making your own lump coal and again thank you for stopping by the channel please please don't depart from the faith it's time to give your life to Jesus Christ friends if you haven't if you have it's time to draw closer. All right, as always, God is good, God is great. I see y'all on the next video. Already got a date.